Hey guys, F -f -f Fire here, bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out T -T Teppo and the Secret Ancient City. This game is currently available in the Xbox Store for a price starting at $8. It's developed by Seven Raven Studios, published by Turtle Console, and is a platformer style game um, that has kind of a almost like an Indiana Jones kind of vibe to it. It features expansive levels with a lot of things to collect th th throughout them, some very basic controls, but also kind of a lackluster gaming experience. Now, I absolutely love the art style of this game. It looks really fun and, you know, it looks like it has a lot of potential for, for me and honestly, in this brief little bit of the tutorial that you're getting just to see here, had me really looking forward to the game that I was about to play but it ultimately will lacklusterly leave you in a sense of wanting more than what the game kind of presents. Now, the game features expansive levels that have, like I said, a lot of content. So as you can see, here as we dive into a brand new play session, there's over 500 things to collect, but the game is missing, honestly, some kind of key components while you're playing it. There's no way to kind of figure out where you are, it has a lot of exploring, but it's really hard to figure out what you're doing, where you need to go, as the game offers no directive when it comes to what you need to do to complete the task while you're playing. You're gonna be spending a lot of your time just exploring areas, hoping you find and travel the right pathway, just to get frustrated as you realize that you can't really figure out where you need to go because the game doesn't give you a sense of how to figure out where you are or get any of your directions or bearings within the game. The controls are very simplistic, much as you'd expect as a platformer. You can jump on things, you'll get occasional weapons, but again, with the way the game's kind of designed, not being able to know where you need to go and being kind of left guessing in a sense what you need to do it really kind of takes out of the experience of what you're getting at while you're playing the game it takes a sense of wanting to collect everything and turns it more from a fun experience into just a more mind-numbing task than anything as at least my experience with the game it gets really just repetitive and boring as i can't f f figure out what i need to do without just a lot of frustration without the achievements don't really reward you for doing anything outside of just doing random th things there's not really a sense of accomplishment other than just doing your best to try to f find the one or two little pieces before you ultimately die by something random that you don't know why it really killed you and you don't really have a way to stop or to defend it because the game doesn't really tell you where to find the weapons and skills and tools that you need to complete the sections. So overall, I, I, I'm going to recommend that you probably pass on this game. I think if it had some updates and some quality of life improvements, it would be a much better experience. But because the content here is missing what I think is some key lackluster components for a platform of this type, such as just a basic mini map or a way or a sense of knowing where you're going to navigate while you're playing, it would really just set a tone for how the game works. And it really is just, again, basic content that adds to the level of the experience while you're playing. The, the platforming could be really fun. The enemies could be interactive and engaging a little more versus just walking around the screen, you know, and just being mind numbing zombies. So overall guys, that's kind of my th th thoughts on the game. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you agree with me? Did you check this game out? Am I being too over biased or crazy? But yeah, uh, outside of that, I hope to see you guys again soon and have a great rest of your day.